I'm Sam Chow, co-founder of Subhome Innovation. I'm here today to answer some of your questions. I'm Ben Vaping, also with Subhome Innovations, and I'm here to answer questions for team sponsorships here in Moscow. Uh, we've been here in the Russian market for a little year, over a year and a half. Uh, from what I've seen so far, I definitely uh, see growth in the Russian market. I see similarity that's happening here in Russia, what uh, that, that happened to our market in the U.S. market, a lot of cloud chasing, uh, you know, um, mechanical models are very popular out here as well. Um, I see uh, the Russian market growing at a very rapidly and rapidly rate. You know, so. To answer your question uh, about the FDA regulation, proposed regulation, um, it really didn't affect our business overall uh, internationally. It did affect uh, our business uh, domestically in the U.S. However, uh, it won't stop us from innovating products for the international market. Uh, as long as we uh, design and uh, uh, make the product for imp um, exporting to other countries, we're allowed to continue to make product. We just can't sell the product in the U.S. market. Uh, back when uh, the Legendary was released, uh, we made it in the USA and then we released the Shorty, uh, the demand was very, very high. Um, we have to. Uh, we started outsourcing some of the parts overseas um, in China, and uh, some of the parts came back. And we do all the final assembly here at uh, Sacramento, West Sacramento, uh, California. So, Cerakote, uh, final assembly, and QC all done in the U.S. Some parts are still made in the U.S. Um, you know, just like this uh, extension tube. These are all made in the U.S. So, it's uh, as far as uh, quality goes, it's it's it doesn't lower the quality or anything like that. We source very high quality material, so. <laughs> like the extension tube, these are all made in USA, you know. So some parts that like the shorty and stuff are made in China, but again, we do the final assembling in the US. We ship it out to the US. So. The quality is gonna be the same. Yeah, we, we're very meticulous about our product. So we, we're, um, we make sure everything that leaves our warehouse is tip tops. You know, a uh, wide variety of products is very popular, uh, but to answer your question, what's the most popular, what sells the most, I would say the Shorty. Worldwide, internationally, uh, domestic market, our Shorty sales are very, very um, good. Yeah, it's definitely outsold um, all of other products, so I would say the Shorty. Um, the RDA sells really well as well. Uh, the 24 millimeter RDA, uh, people like the hybrid connection, so they buy both, um, things like that. So. Um, so our suburb innovation, me and Kel uh, founded the company. Um, we actually have an investor as well too, um, or Jutz Ben. Uh, we founded the company in uh, 2014. Um, we already started talking about partnership um, er, late around 2013. Um, our first product with the Big Dripper. It was our you know uh, first experience in manufacturing product for the vape industry. It became very popular. It got cloned. Uh, it got very popular. It's all over the. Uh, uh, country sold in all kind of you know vape market you can think of and then the next product was our sub-zero competition model um, that's kind of where it you know put us on the map and took off in the uh, vape uh, vape industry so um, now I think we're sold in like over 19 countries um, we're constantly you know looking into the market and see what we can put well, how, what kind of design we can uh, come up with that um, have an impact on the vape market so. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that question up to Ben, but we're always in the market for looking for our, uh, you know, fan base and promoting them to become our sponsor to promote our product. Um, and you know, we want to thank our fans for that. You know, and we want to thank our sponsors for that. So we're always in the market to expanding the team, and that's why we have Mr. Ben Vaping yeah. here to handle all that. Yeah. I'm lucky to have this guy; he handles all of that. So. For sponsorship, uh, what I look for, and as our company as a whole, we look for. Uh, cloud competitors, tricksters, you know, that attend, that attend these conventions, that attend these shop competitions, you know. Um, a lot of people think it's basically off a fan base, and it's not, you know. Uh, it's more or less if you have heart into competing into re and and if you believe in our product we will support you as well you know um, like tomorrow there's a the world series of cloud competition at the expo I, I'll be seeking team members there as well you know but and it's not just 
being good and professional it's also being humble you know having a good attitude you know um, our, our team uh, that we have so far is they, they rep us because they love our product you know and they, they promote us very well so we support them 110 percent you know uh, it's not with them it's not about the free product you know with them it's it's how we treat them you know we treat them like family you know my, my whole uh, competition team worldwide we're like family I could go anywhere and we're like family members you know it's not just business it's more family relationship so you know and then you know uh, a lot of it is you know I get a lot of DMS you know on Instagram I get a lot of whatsapp messages you know and I do research you know a lot of people you know and see how they are involved in the community in the vaping community you know so like I said this weekend I'll be looking for team members for to represent Russia as well so you know um, we got some really cool stuff that's happening that we've been working on for a long time in, at our uh, warehouse at our uh, back home um, you would expect these design coming out early next year uh, the sub-zero however is such a great product such a popular product we won't discontinue it you know uh, we will always continue to make the sub sub zero shorty that product will not um, leave our product line any not anytime soon um, and in terms of uh, the new design we have a box mark coming out we would like to call it a competition box mark it's a really really powerful three battery box mark that's all I can tell you right now we're excited about that project we have a new RDA coming out next year that's really cool as well and also um, we have a new mod coming out so all that's coming out new juice um, hopefully we can showcase that very soon here you know, so and believe me it will be innovative it will be different so you know you guys make really good product I'm very impressed I think Russian designs are awesome uh, I've seen quite a few at a uh, couple of these shows that I've been to I think you guys know what you're doing I think you know uh, the innovation behind your design is definitely uh, awesome I, you know um, in terms of comparing it to how the sale would be in other country that I don't know because the market is such volatile market meaning you know it's always changing you know you might have the best product now here in Europe but sometimes someone come out with another one so but I don't know I don't have those data in terms of Russia uh, product in other country but my opinion Russia designs are awesome I, I think you know it's great I think you know it's, it's definitely uh, you know we need innovators modders from all over the world so always continue to coming up with really cool design that that's what helped the market grow that's what helped makes this market competitive and we, we welcome that we love that we love co competition so. collaboration yeah yes. that's, that's a very good question actually we are talking to some people now uh, that I can't disclose but however it's gonna be if thing works out I tell you this it's gonna be really cool it's gonna be really cool because I can give you a hint we are working with someone that's a legend meaning you know he's been around a long time so if things work out I don't know I don't have everything all the data yet I don't want to promote something that's not might not exist but yes those things are in the works uh, I think it's fun to collaborate with you know other company uh, let's show you know uh, the industry that hey it's not about ourselves it's about other people too as well um, and yes to answer your question, we have that yes um, we want to thank the whole Russian vape community uh, you know we, we just keep blowing clouds keep you know uh, um, innovating you know vape but vape safe you know learn to vape safe um, and and you know we what we can however we can help to grow the market we're here to help you know we we love the Russian vape community and uh, we love our fans here as well too so that's why we're actually gonna be um, raffling this off this week it's our last one we're actually gonna be giving it away you know you, you actually 
you, it's our last one. So you actually can win this by coming to our booth this weekend. We polished it. It's it's a beauty, you know, and we wanted to uh, do something nice it's for our silver. customer here. So something different. So instead of throwing free juice and free, we allow them to try to win this this weekend. Someone's going to win this this weekend, all right? 99.9% so. .9 solid silver. So. Yes. Now someone can everywhere. Own it, it brought here. to everywhere. Uh, went to China. Went to Europe. Went. It, it traveled the world like the Olympic torch. Yeah. <laughs> so someone here yeah. in Russia is gonna own this yep. by the end of the weekend. So make sure you subscribe to Viva La Crowd. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys gave me your first interview. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, sorry, I had a rough day. I had a rough day at the airport. I apologize. But yeah, make sure you subscribe to Viva La Crowd. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.